The bishops of the Netherlands met Pope Francis this morning, marking the end of their week-long visit. EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief Andreas Tonhauser had the opportunity to speak with one of them today. So with me here in Rome is Bishop Roberts from the Netherlands and uh, on the final day of the ad limina visits of the bishops of the Netherlands to the Holy Father here to the Vatican, uh, he wants to also tell us a little bit how it went. Bishop Robert, what could you tell us about your meeting with the Holy Father? Yeah, that's in, uh, indeed, it's the final day of our ad limina visit. The, the, the last one was nine years ago. Uh, normally it should be about five, but with Corona and everything, with COVID. Uh, but we finally were here, we were good days, and today was a bit of the high, highlight of the week. The, the visit was uh, with the Holy Father. He's very informal, and so it's very relaxed, actually. You just have a conversation, it's like a coffee visit. No formalities, just shaking hands, sitting around him, and no reading of papers, nothing. He just said, uh, anything can be discussed here, anything can be said. You can even criticize the Pope, only in here, not out here. Um, it was very good. What was his message to the faithful uh, in the Netherlands? Well, in the first instance, he led to talking to us. So what's the situation in the Netherlands? You probably know we were one of the most Catholic countries in the world. Uh, with the island and so many missionaries from all around we sent them to all over the world. Uh, now we have seminaries coming to us because I think at the moment we are the most secularized country in the world. His final words were, well, maybe you may be in the desert now in the Netherlands. We know that from biblical times, just be patient. Pacienza, be patient and continue doing what you can do. And that, that's a good advice, I think. So this was also on the situation of the church in the Netherlands, but also the Netherlands are known for being very much in favor of, for example, legislation like euthanasia, one of the first countries legalizing euthanasia. Yeah. Uh, what's the response of the church to that? Yeah, well, as I said, we are totally secularized. Um, it, it is quite bad. We were always the first with, well, the good things and the bad things. The strange thing is everyone can see what uh, what the results is of this bad situation and they still all follow us but it's uh, abortion it's euthanasia it's gay marriage and and now it's woke and it's gender by the way this uh, gender issue was uh, addressed by our cardinal and actually says things are so confusing a doctrinal letter or maybe an even encyclical would be good if it came from rome Real quickly, also, um, we're in the middle of a global synodal process. How yeah. was that perceived in the Netherlands? If you go to the average man in the street and you ask 100 people, maybe one ever heard of it. Well, you, you mustn't forget church attendance uh, from all the baptized is at its best 2%. And just a small number of people showed up in parishes when this was discussed. I have no idea where this, where this is going to lead to, because uh, who are we talking to, listening to, because it's all listening? Everyone. About what? Everything. All kinds of everything. Well, to me, it's up till now, uh, well, it's a lot of opinions. Uh, some very contradictory to, to what the church teaches to, uh, against tradition. Some in favor, but uh, I don't know what's going to lead this to. Well, of course, we are not a parliament, but I don't know. I don't know. Bishop Roberts, about the situation of the church in the Netherlands, thank you for being with us in Rome. Andreas Townhauser, EWTN News Nightly.